After you remove your 8mm last bolt that you have to take out, then you'll be able to slide off the cover and you'll see all the valves and springs under the cover. So once you get your last 8mm bolt up, you'll be able just to slide off the head cover. Once you get the head cover off, you'll be able to see the valves, the springs, the timing chain. The next step in order to pull off the cylinder, you have to remove the four 12 millimeter bolts under the head cover and you have to remove the two 8 millimeters on the side right here. Then after you get all those bolts off you'll be able to pull off the the cylinder. After you remove the four 12 millimeter nuts, make sure to remove the washer behind the nuts. Once you remove all the washers and nuts off of the bracket with the valve arms, you'll be able to slide the top off. After you remove the nuts, washers, and the top with the rocker arms, you have to come over to the side and remove these two 8mm bolts to get the cylinder off. In order to take out the timing chain gear with the lobes and bearings on it, you have to remove the cam tensioner. All you have to do is take out the two 8mm bolts that are on the side right here then pop it off then you'll slide the chain off of the gear then pull off the gear with the lobes then you'll be able to take off the cylinder while taking off the cylinder make sure to hold the timing chain gear so it doesn't fall in the bottom end if it does you have to split the engine and try to get it back together That once you remove the cylinder, under the cylinder you'll be able to see the gasket and the exhaust ports and the bottom end of the exhaust. If you look where you took off the cylinder, you'll be able to see the piston and the timing chain gear. Next, after you remove the cylinder, Remember to hold the timing chain and pull off the bottom end of the jug. But be careful not to break the rings on the piston. Before sliding off the bottom end jug while holding the timing chain, remember to slide off the bottom chain glide off the bottom then you'll be able to pull off the bottom end jug after you remove the bottom end jug while holding the timing chain to get the piston to come up you'll want to turn the the fan To get the piston off, you want to remove the circlips, then get a socket that will fit into the hole and hit the, the barrel out, then you will be able to remove the piston off. So after you get the circlips out, 
out of both sides, you want to get a 10 millimeter socket and a hammer. You'll want to get your 10 millimeter socket, put it in where the barrel goes, get your hammer and lightly tap it out. After it comes out a little bit, remove the socket while holding the piston. Now just remove the barrel out of the piston and you're able to take out the piston. So after you take out the piston, you'll be able to see the crank, the crank bearings, and everything else in the bottom end. Thanks for watching this tutorial on how to disassemble a BMS four-stroke scooter motor.